Hey, everyone out there? How the hell is everyone doing out there? I'm doing quite well with myself. No further ado, this is for you, my subscribers, and same thing for you, my viewers. Wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of joyful discussions. So sit back, relax, grab something to snack on, or maybe you want to get something to drink. It's up to you. Because once again, this discussion will be very, very joyful. It opens how you feel about this discussion and how you feel about this article. You guys can read the article down below. Here goes nothing. Now, I just saw this online and I said to myself, I definitely have to discuss about this. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Now, I made um, a discussion about because the Ziggler left the company, you know, aka storyline wise, he he dropped the US title in the middle of the ring the last pay per view, or actually the last pay per view be before 2017 it rolls around on that one episode of SmackDown Live. I know it has been a while. So he'd been off TV for a while, Dolph Ziggler, probably been backstage for a while on SmackDown Live. Who the hell knows? Now, Dan Bryan created this tournament to, to, to crown the new United States Championship. And I'm really enjoying this, okay? Now, fast forward a little bit. Now, the finals supposed to take place at the Royal Rumble very soon, but they changed their freaking plans. Way to go, W. Now, the finals is now going to take place not in the pay per view at the Royal Rumble. It's going to take place January 23rd, okay? We will now face the former champion, spoiler alert, Dolph Ziggler, at the Royal Rumble instead of having um, the original plan, you know? So, I think the original plan is a better idea, but whatever. So, I'm assuming they're going to have like a undisputed United States. States Championship kind of match. I don't know because it'll be champion for champion. Dove Zuko never lost his belt. He just dropped it. So uh, I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know if it's going to have two United States Championships or is it just going to be one. We'll find out on a January 23rd edition. So I think it's kind of dumb in my opinion. I think the original idea with the tournament would be great. And then add Dolph Ziggler to the mix, make a triple threat match, but once again, W change your minds, like always, you know, oh my gosh. So what's your thoughts on the article, and what's your thoughts on, on having United States Championship, not the defending at the Royal Rumble, instead, it's going to take place January 23rd, the go-home show before the Royal Rumble. I think that's kind of stupid, but whatever, you know. People are going to watch it regardless. Maybe. I don't know. Probably you're going to read it online for spoilers. So, shame on you if you read the spoilers on the internet. Just kidding. Um, so, that is awesome, you know. Everyone knows that Royal Rumble is around the corner, like two weeks ago. So, I think this is a very dumb idea. I'm being totally honest. I think the original idea they had pencil in it was a great idea and apparently McMahon says you know what let's have the United States champion will face the former United States champion Dolph Ziggler on January 23rd the go home show for the Royal Rumble coming up so very dumb way to go McMahon I hate when they do that you know this is not the only time they've ever done this in W history you know very dumb so let me know what you think about the article and let me know what you think about the championship match for the United States Championship match is going to get not going to be on the Royal Rumble it's going to be on SmackDown Live before the Royal Rumble the go home show that's what I'm trying to say so have a good one like subscribe favorite and give me some comments about this article and be honest I want no negative tea, no, don't bash the messenger. And that wraps up. This is your host here, is sign off. Thank you very much 
for listening. This is Rai Rai Scratch That. This is Team Rai Rai is signing off. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys and gals next edition. That is for sure.